Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right. Today, I'm doing another one of these walking and talkings, but uh, today we're walking uh, down Paseo Montejo, just like we used to back in the day. Only this time, I'm not carrying any heavy bags or anything like that. I just had to, you know, go across the street to get a little money exchanged. Um, if you want some more context to that, check out my second channel, uh, the Travel Channel, where you can see uh, what I was doing on the way over here. You probably saw it a couple days ago, and if you didn't, you can see it now or see it after this one. But today, it's Monday Motivation. You already know the deal. Um, so, um, what are we going to be talking about today? You know, honestly, I have no clue. I actually have no clue. Um, but, you know, what we will be talking about today, I think we're going to talk about health. All right, We're going to talk about exercise. We're going to talk about taking care of yourself and why that's very important. Because, look, I myself, I myself, <laughs> sorry, a little traffic over there. Anyways, I myself uh, was not really in the mood to do much uh, before I came out here today. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of which, hold on a second. I think I might have a... Okay, not yet. But I myself uh, wasn't really feeling it today. And, um, you know, it happens all the time. You know, sometimes you're not feeling it. And, um, you know, basically, a lot of times all you really need is to get outside for a few minutes, get some sun, or just move around for a little bit. You know, get a little movement under you. Um, you know, one of the things I miss about the camera being broken or one of the situations is the fact that I was already getting used to the bike. And a lot of times, you know, where I just wanted to, you know, make a video or do a little bit of a chat or something like that. <laughs> um, you know, I would just get on the bike and it would be a lot easier because, you know, the thing is that, you know, one of the limiting things about this camera and being on my feet when I'm making content is the fact that, you know, all of a sudden it's very, very difficult for me to really, you know, go out and about. I'm kind of like limited to where I am. But uh, one of the cool things about being on the bike is the fact that like I get to show you so much. So it was very, it's very easy, you know, for me to just strap the other camera on there and just go on there and, and do a video or just go for a ride or whatever. But, you know, right now it's a little bit more of a difficulty thing. Look, that's a little bit of a rare sight you're not going to see out here in this parts. Anyways, a little taxi. You may be seen. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I forgot. This camera's no good flipping around. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> the point is, is that look, man. Sometimes you just got to motivate yourself, right? How about that? That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Sometimes you got to motivate yourself, right? Sometimes, you know, Jose can't upload a video. Sometimes, you know, there's already enough fucking motivational videos you can watch per day, and it, it's still, you know, what I mean, you either gotta just get up and do it or not. And that's basically it, okay? That's I think that's what we're gonna be talking about today. About the fact that you can't be relying on everybody else all the fucking time. You know what I mean? You gotta start taking the um you gotta start taking responsibility for yourself and your actions and your life, and you gotta start motivating yourself. I motivate myself. I mean, come on, you know what I mean? Give me a break. I mean, I'm motivating you guys, but who the fuck is helping motivating me? Me. You know what I mean? And so yeah, it's pretty lucky to be me. I get that, I know that, but the point is is that you know, there was a one time in my life in which I w it wasn't lucky being me, all right? It kind of sucked being me, but now it does not suck being me. In fact, my life is fucking awesome, and I want your life to be just as fucking awesome as mine. But the only way you can do that is by fucking doing it, by taking some responsibility for yourself and just start motivating yourself a little bit, all right? Not a little bit, a lot a bit, a lot, all right? Get to it. And that's what today's episode is basically all about because look guys again you guys already know a lot of times i just get the fucking camera and i just start talking and that's it and today was no exception you know today i really didn't have anything oh what's that look at that here check this out <laughs> but anyways hopefully that's not gonna be too loud and hopefully it won't drown my loud ass voice you know but basically you know a lot of times you just gotta fucking just do it man you gotta just um, stop sitting there and wallowing and just get up and start doing it. And um, just like me, you know, I basically got this camera and you guys heard, you know, or saw, you know, it's only been four, it's only four minutes and a half right now. And you guys already saw that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna start talking about, you know, um, health and motivation or whatever the fuck. Man, that shit's fucking loud. But anyways, <laughs> but basically I decided <laughs> Sorry, anyways, sometimes that's another awesome thing about, you know, being out here, you know, you're always uh, laughing at something, or maybe it's just me, you know, I'm always in a great mood out here. But anyways, yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about, the fact that my life fucking is awesome, all right? <laughs> my life is fucking awesome right now, and the only way that it became awesome, all right, is by me motivating myself to get to where I need to get, which is here, 
all right? And that's it, you know what I mean? Why do I know my life is gonna continue to be awesome? Well, because I'm fucking making it so. And shit happens. You guys watch my videos all the time. Literally a couple weeks ago, I was walking with my flat tire, having a shitty fucking day, and it's, it's still great. But why is it that a lot of you guys out there, you just have one little shitty thing happen to you, and it just fucking destroys your fucking life. It's like, come on. Are you fucking kidding me now? And that's the thing, that's what I'm trying to make you guys realize, you know? Like, I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy to get here. Nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy. But that's the, that's the thing, without any risk, there's no reward. If you're not gonna go out there and get it, it's not gonna, you're not, it's not gonna land on your lap. You know, everything you could ever want is out there. You just gotta know, first of all, what you want, and then you gotta make the other decision to just go get it. And again, the only way really you're gonna be able to do that is to motivate yourself. And, um, you know, watching me can only get you so far. Watching Gary V can only get you so far. Um, you know, I, I, you, you know, no matter how, um, how much of an ex, how much, um, um, how much, let's just say, no matter how much you wanna play drums in a band, there's only so much you could practice. All right, so at the end of the day, you gotta go out there and just play those drums. And you're probably asking me, well, I can't go out there and play drums because I ain't got no bandmates and I got no band and I got, listen, you know what you fucking do? If you love it bad enough, you start your own fucking band and you're the only guy in the band and all you do is play the fucking drums and that's it. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but some of the awesomest, coolest fucking things, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> See, that's taking action right there. You know what I mean? He wanted to be on camera, he got on camera. That's it. So that's what I tell you guys. But anyways, the same thing with the one-man band. It's the same thing with the one-man band. Basically, you make it happen. You know, if all of a sudden you go to uh, some sort of a bar and you see a band that's out there fucking like destroying them, blah, 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 and you go to the stage and you see it's just one guy with a humongous drum set making all kinds of crazy music, you're like, holy shit. Not only is that music awesome, but that guy's fucking awesome. And all of a sudden, you created something crazy unique by just going out there and fucking doing it and not, exp and not waiting for anybody else. I mean, that, that's it. I mean, just be unique, be yourself. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Then nobody fucking listens to you? Guess what, nobody's fucking listening to you right now anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it's just things like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know, like I keep saying, a lot of times all you gotta do is just get out of your own fucking way. Just get out of your own way, all right? And um, just get it done. I mean, for reals, I mean, I don't wanna keep sounding like a, like a broken record, like I'm beating a dead horse, all right? But, you know, basically that's it, you know what I mean? Like, how many times am I walking down the street here and I get stopped by a fan or just some random person that wants to get on camera and they get on camera? You know, like for a lot of some, just probably even more people that want to get on camera or want to wave or want, but they're just so intimidated and scared that they don't and they don't get on camera. And then sometimes, you know, like I'm watching all kinds of videos and content on Instagram and all over the place. And sometimes, like I'm just doing a video, some random guy comes up and that random guy makes the video, makes the show. He doesn't even want to be on camera per se. He just wanted to say hi. And before you fucking knew it, that the whole thing goes viral just because of that interaction. It's just like, that's the thing you just got to do it whatever it is it doesn't matter stop being so scared you gotta grab life by the balls or life is gonna grab you by the balls and it's not it's not good trust me trust me all right it hurts okay anyways yeah guys look uh, today is gonna be kind of a short episode i'm almost home i'm actually you know walking a lot faster than what i usually walk i guess it's because uh the bike is uh, helping a lot with the stamina and the exercise. But the point is, is that you're going to be hearing something about Gary V at the end of this one as well. You know, you already know what's up. Going to make it at least around 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I mean, you know, I can go on and on and on. I mean, you know, the other guy, the other day I met a guy, a fan of mine, that he says he's been following me before when I was in L.A. He didn't follow me since I've been in LA. How about them apples? You know what I mean? He saw my whole story, saw my whole journey, and then that's finally what, you know, encouraged him to come out here and get and do this. So it's like, you know, to me, you know how humbling that is? You know how crazy awesome that is? How, 
how happy that makes me you know in order to you know be able to do something like that and it helps people like that and um you know that you know people have been actually seeing and following my whole journey and um just put things into perspective like honestly and um you know to me it's like the coolest thing ever it really is it really is the coolest thing ever when i bump into all kinds of people like you know out there that have watched my content watch my stuff and um i help you guys you know encourage you guys to just finally do it i mean it really it really makes me really really happy because you know the you know honestly like yeah i did all this alone but i couldn't have done it without other you know people out there especially other youtubers that were um, kind of going through their own thing you know i talk about it all the time there's a lot of other youtubers that you know um i would watch and they would um basically like encourage me you know by um seeing that they could do it so it made me think i could do it and i did it i mean i already i'm I already live a life in which i do a bunch of crazy awesome you know just crazy shit all the time but sometimes you know hey i'm telling you man i make i make it look easy others make it look easy but it's not easy it's not all right i'm not gonna fucking sit here and pretend it's easy but you know anything that i do but it is now because i've done it so long and for such a you know um persistent amount of time where yeah it, it becomes easy it starts getting easy yeah sorry i wanted to stop the film there i wanted to make sure i grabbed all that but you know it gets to the point where you're out there kicking ass on a regular basis on a you know um and it just really does become easy you know it's just like everything else is that learning curve you know things are hard yeah guys sorry about that had a little bit of a camera malfunction <laughs> but anyways um yeah so as i was saying anyways guys yeah sorry about that like i was saying um it's all about you know kindness in a sense you know because basically if it wasn't for other youtubers and other people out there doing exactly what i'm doing i would not be doing what i'm doing so basically i'm paying it forward as well because just like a lot of others out there help me by the free information that they provided on their youtube channels or whatever other medium you know i was able to find content on um it's the same thing i'm doing for you guys i'm constantly being able to you know trying to help you guys by providing as much free information as possible whether it's just simply you know just something like um you know some motivational stuff or whether or whether it's something like um you know just information on living in mexico or information on bitcoin or whatever it is you know what i mean it's uh, it, you know we're helping each other here in a way you know what i mean and that's basically it and um it's all about kindness and and hard work and all that stuff so it's like again i've talked about it many many times before that you know you get more with kindness you get more with being nice than you do from being mean and trying to be number one by by you know stop by literally you, you can be number one two ways either a by destroying everybody's building so that your building is the highest or b just building the highest building that's what i encourage you guys to do just build the highest fucking building you don't got to worry about anybody else and you can do that with pure kindness and niceness and being whatever but the thing is in order for you to do that you got to work very hard and a lot of people just don't want to work let alone very hard that's why I'm making this video on my on, on this camera because I broke my other camera and I could easily just say, oh, I can't make videos because I broke my camera. That's not an excuse. You know, even if I didn't have this, I got my cell phone. And, and if I didn't have, you know what I mean? It's just like, you gotta make it happen. If you really want it, you make it happen. By me really wanting it and really making it happen, well, guess what? It's the same, you know what I mean? Like you guys see that and it's like, that helps, you know, convey my message even further. Because the thing is, I can say this, all, you know, I can say all kinds of shit all I want. You know, you know what I mean? I can say all kinds of bullshit and all kinds of whatever. But, you know, one thing is uh, words and another thing is our actions. I show you actions. You know, I'm out here doing it constantly. That's what helps. You know what I mean? And to me, it's like, it's, it's, um, it's a dream that I get to not only document this, but share it with you guys. And it helps you guys. And... It, it feeds my need, you know what I mean? Because my mommy didn't give me enough attention when I was a little kid. So this helps me. And I get to help you guys. And we're much, much, uh, what is it? Mutually helping each other. And it's freaking awesome. I mean, but again, in order for me to get to this awesome life, doing these awesome things and being, you know, awesome, I had to do awesome things. Basically, you know what I mean? I literally had to go out on a limb. All right, I had to risk it all multiple times, lose it all multiple times, all right? And just go out there and just keep fucking doing it. And now I'm out here living my best motherfucking life. Yeah, sure, I'm starting over again, but man, 
How many of you motherfuckers would trade your life with mine in a heartbeat? And that's all I got to say. You're not looking at me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm never in a position where I want to trade my life position. I, I'm never in a position where I want to trade my, my situation or my life for anyone else's ever. All right? And that's the thing, you know? There's a lot of you guys that would. And that, that's what I'm trying to get you guys to realize that you guys have the most awesome, best life ever. But you got to create it for yourself and stop thinking that, you know what I mean? Like it's going to be provided for you by somebody else or you're going to copy paste by somebody else or what have you. Like I already told you a million times and everyone's going to keep telling you a million times over and over again. You got to go get it. But the reality is that if I just make a video telling you the secret as to success, the real secret to success, that video would be this short. Let me look. I'm going to tell you the real secret to success. Do it. That's it. That's a very short video. So that's why I got to talk and talk and talk to make this content and make these long ass fucking videos because you guys want to hear all this stuff. I want to hear all this stuff. You know, it's all that stuff. But, you know, basically it's like everything else. I'm going to do a, I'm going to right now give you all the secrets to weight loss, diet, and exercise. All right, you know, you know go, just do it. You know, and that's it. You know what I mean? And um, I can go on and on. And you guys know what's up. So you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to cut it short because I'm already getting phone calls and all that stuff. And what we're going to do now. Oi. Anyway, sorry about that. Guys, one second. All right, guys. 20 minute phone call later and I'm back so I can finish this episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Check me out on joseartega.com. Check me out on my other channel. Check me out pretty much, you know, all over the webs. I got a podcast again. Yeah, all the stuff that you watch on my channel, that you listen to on my channel now, I'm on podcast. So you can find me there. All the Bitcoin stuff, all the awesome stuff, all the stuff. So yeah, check me out there. And um, basically that's it. Check out the little Gary V video at the end of this one to get a little bit extra motivated. And uh, hope you guys have an amazing, awesome rest of your Monday. I hope, I hope you have an amazing, awesome rest of your week. And uh, you already know the deal. I'll see you guys on the internet. Love you guys. There's no excuse for not talking to the world. It just doesn't have to be your thoughts and words every time. My friends, the key to content success is you've got to start documenting instead of creating. Let me tell you how. Start. Guys, uh, I know I look like the Emperor from uh, Star Wars right now, but I'm uh, very high in the air, back from London, headed to uh, New York City. I decided to do a, uh, a video. So many of you are stuck and can't start. And I broke it down into the what, how, and where, right? WHW, right? Like, what are you gonna talk about? But the way all of you need to do this and how you actually start is by doing. You haven't done anything yet. You know, this whole fake it till you make it brings no value to anybody. You need to make something. And that thing is a manifesto. It's always been obvious to me. It's always been obvious what causes success, what I needed to do. You know, every time I watch content through the internet or on television, watched Oprah the other night, Lizzie was watching it, I was working. She was interviewing George Lucas and he was saying the same shit. We took it to all the studios, every single one of them, and nobody wanted it. So what did you do? So I said, well, I'm not gonna give up now. You're stuck, you haven't started because you're stuck. I, I think the fear of losing trumps the excitement of victory for so many people. So here you go, what? What are you gonna talk about? What do you wanna be known for? Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. And see, what people need to understand is the way we communicate today is so different yeah. and the platforms have been redefined. You wanna be in health and fitness, you wanna be in strategy, you wanna be in social media, you wanna be in, in sneakers, you wanna be in coffee, you wanna be in electronics, you wanna be in, in, in fashion. You collect Smurfs, Smurf it up. You can make $70,000 a year talking about the Smurfs. <laughs> Whether that's your mission or where you're at right now. Your truth, manifesto. Tell me what you're thinking about it. Like, If somebody made a video eight years ago that I think fashion should be high-low, I think people should wear expensive stuff and inexpensive stuff in one wardrobe, they would have been like the queen or king of the vision of the fashion industry just by making a video. Predicting that Facebook acquires Instagram. It's like Facebook's gonna buy Instagram. Four months later it happens. So I was on Pierce Morgan. This company's 550 days old. How the hell is it worth a billion dollars? 
and my opening line is, they stole it. And then, I guess last year this time, right, uh, Facebook bought WhatsApp for 18 billion and every article like the next day after the news came out is like, oh wait a minute, they fucking stole Instagram. The how is, there's only certain few ways to communicate in the world. Whether this is video form, something okay. extreme. Yeah. Like just get on a train and go away for a week or something different. You have to break pattern. Whether this is audio form. Sitting here listening to my music list and I'm starting to find a little clarity. Audio being a podcast. You're an outspoken advocate for both hustle and self-awareness. Yes. But if you had to put them in order, even if it's a 1A and 1B. Self-awareness. Self-awareness is not more even important close. When you know who really? you are, yes. When you know who you are, hustle's sexier. Yeah. Like, it would've been cooler for like the people listening for me to say hustle, because it's cooler, right? Heck, you don't even do a podcast. Put the record on your phone and just speak your truth. As I sit here right now, writing this article, um, uh, or at least memoing it, because that's how I do it. Get in front of a camera, selfie style. You know, I'm old now, kids, so at 40, I've observed a lot, and I can tell you that optimism and positivity is a huge variable. Good morning, Instagram. It's me, Gary. Instead of a motivational quote or some sort of clip, I just wanted to go camera to face, just tell you how much I appreciate all of you guys. Your attention means the world to me. Set it up on a tripod or have a D-Rock. It's your nephew, your sister. Nate, give me this. Give me this real quick. Nathan, the intern is here. Some of you you guys might remember him. Or you write it. But the way all of you need to do this and how you actually start is by doing. I create an obnoxious amount of content because of the strategy of how we do it. Don't do anything. Just keep watching. Keep watching my stuff. Keep being entertained by my energy. Keep being inspired. Don't do. Don't fucking have dinner at seven o'clock and drink two beers. Like, when your strategy is right, you win. And so we have figured out that pillar content creates content underneath it at scale. Hey everybody, welcome to the first hashtag Ask Gary V. I think it's the first one, but I actually do think I tried to do this once before. I feel like I've got the team now in place to actually do this more often. It's macro patience. Macro patience. Deploy patience. You've gotta deploy patience. You've gotta love the process. What's the ROI of social media? So I look at her and go, what's the ROI of your mother? There are so many people in here that shouldn't be producing video because that is not the best way they communicate. Only a decade ago, if I was speaking here, all I would be talking about is blogging. Yet, there are people in this room that are caught up by picture and video communication and they are tremendous writers and they don't realize that blogging or posting on Medium or even my favorite little hack right now, if you're a good writer and you wanna build up a profile for your business or for yourself, I actually highly recommend you start blogging inside of Facebook and Instagram. I literally mean writing seven, 15, 25 sentences, three, four, five paragraphs worth of written content within your feeds that people will absolutely consume. So that's number one and two. The what and, and how, right? Like how are you gonna do it? And then where? Distribution. That's, that's what you need to figure out next. And it's the hardest part for a lot of you. Hardest part is to start. The next hardest, there are a lot of things are hard. Hard to start, hard to know what format to do it in, audio, written, video. And then number three, how do you get people to see it? It all goes down in the DM. The key is providing other people more value. I just don't see people doing it. It blows me away. And it is absolutely, I want the full, and it is absolutely going down on Instagram DM. Influencers, or you pay for it. Either you pay in Facebook ads, Instagram ads, sponsorship deals, YouTube pre-rolls against people of those interests, fashion, you know, food, wine, sneakers, technology, or, or you reach out to people that have audiences. Search hashtags, click them, look at the account, then see how you can bring them value, DM them, go in soft, bring value, rinse and repeat two, three, four, five thousand times. So the thing mainly should do is go Upper East Side. Looking good, this guy looks like he's a picture. Hey G. Instagram influencers right now, today, for doers, is the probably be only behind Facebook ads, the single best arbitrage in marketing. And then you try, and then you learn. When you're a pioneer, you have to taste it. There's no report, there's no white paper, there's no modeling mixed metrics that are gonna teach you how that's gonna work. 
When you're the first explorer, you have to taste the berries and hopefully they're not poisonous. We're living through this incredible era of massive opportunity, yet everybody's talking and reading and nobody's fucking doing. Start fucking executing. So what does that mean? That means you should write a medium blog post every week. Content, podcast, video, written, quotes, pictures, and then tactics. What scares me quite a bit is that most of you, when you see these logos, you think of a piece of content that you make and you think of those five channels and more as places where you distribute it. Twitter and Facebook are tools. Twitter and Facebook are markers and crayons. They're a fax machine. These are not just distribution channels. These are channels where you have to natively story tell. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram are ABC, NBC, and CBS. And what I've figured out for the last decade is how to make MASH and The Andy Griffin Show and ER and Seinfeld. And my question is, yeah. how do I hustle and stop being a pussy and attack the world? <laughs> like, I want to be where you are. I've got What's blocking the, you? Some, I don't know. Other people's POV? Yes. That's exactly. the one, man. to see classic in its style. Wouldn't guess Santa Rita Hills. Yes, that's a dig. A little snippy snip. Please, take a step back and think about how awesome it actually is. It is imperative that not only do you start thinking about your content strategy on these platforms for your business. Facebook targeting, I mean like, you know, I mean that's it. Like you can literally put your business address, run a mail, a, a radius around it, or everybody in the 07081 zip code, or the 08802 Asbury Jersey in the house uh, zip code, and everybody will see it in that, in that zip code, in that, Feed. It's a piece of cake. So if you talk about coffee, Google the word coffee and the word blog or coffee and media company and literally email every editor and writer of every coffee blog on the internet. The way you're gonna make money online and by the way, anywhere, is by grabbing it. So if I were you, I would do this. I would go to Google, I would type in beer, so I would click this one, pubglasses.com. I'd go to this site, I'd see what they have, I would find the phone number of this place. Here's a phone number. I'd pick it up. Hello, who would I speak to about you guys possibly um, advertising on my beer blog? Uh, that's me, the owner, Dean. Then search the hashtag coffee and go to every coffee influencer and coffee barista and coffee media site on Instagram and DM them and ask them to give awareness to this manifesto you just wrote. And one out of 347 will, but that's better than zero. Undervaluing just that one view it needs to be the right view, but it's one view is a humongous mistake. That's it. That's how you do it. The what? That I'm willing to sit here right now and make this video hoping that one fucker, one fucker says, oh shit, yeah, like fuck it. The where that's written word, you look at the mediums, the LinkedIn, the WordPresses, you, you start a blog, right? Or you do it on your Facebook, or you do it on your Instagram. How? There's only really three core ways in the current internet to really communicate to the world. The written word, or video, what I'm doing right now. YouTube, Facebook video, uh, Instagram, one minute versions. Video is the other way we communicate. And number three, audio, the, the boom of podcast. These are things that matter. What the fuck do you want to talk about? How are you going to communicate it? written audio or video, and how do you get people to actually see it. This is where we showed you how to go into the DM, right? Then, or you've gotta figure out how to use some money and use Facebook ads and target the people that you're trying to reach. Or grinding hustle, just literally emailing 700 to 1500 different blogs or media sites and saying, do you wanna distribute my content? Somebody has a 14,000 person email newsletter about coffee news. Find that person and ask them. Just gotta ask and, and be smart, jab, jab, right hook. Ask them what you can do for them because you want everybody to read this. Eat, post it on Medium and hit up the editors of Medium who curate content. Post a link on it into Reddit, right? Hit up the 4,700 coffee influencers on YouTube and send them a message and ask them if they wanna read it on their YouTube channel that has 147 views. 147 views is better than zero. The fucking work, that's how you start. Thank you.